Mitch Wisnowski to kick off for San Francisco. It'll be Falcons football, and they trail here as we get back underway on EA Sports. Taking it about the one. And the tackle going to be made right the there at the 25-yard line. At their own 25-yard line. About set to begin their next drive. The Falcons offense at the line. And last time, they had it fourth and goal. Rolled the dice, didn't get it. Now they've got to put that behind them, try to put together another drive. And a simple tip of the cap, a nod of the head to the defense. Congratulations, you got us last time. But you didn't hold us the whole time. We got down to position. We were able to be in position to score. Let's go ahead and attack again. Continue to have that kind of confidence. Not worry about the one play that didn't allow them to get into the end zone. And this time they'll be trying to get it into the end zone. We'll see what they do. Now flags come flying in. One of the Falcons moved early. And that'll set them back five. And that false start penalty is certainly not helping their cause here. Second down and long. Ryan. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Here's Ryan. He completes this to Russell Gage. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. He was held without a catch in the first half, but he's got one here, and he also picks up a first down. They'll run on first down. It's Smith, and he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 37-yard line. Two yards, the loss, second and 12. Hate to say it, but that play typifies what we've seen from this offense all game long. Yeah, don't you think maybe you flip over your play sheet as the offensive coordinator and see the side that says, try something different? <laughs> you know, because this has not worked all game long. They continue to try and get it done. They've got to come up with something a little bit different. Try something special, something they haven't seen. Anything to score a point. They'll run it again with Smith. And look at this for the second straight play. The 49er defense drops him for a loss. Back-to-back two-yard losses, and that sets up a tough third and 14. Third down. A third down now. Those last two plays indicative of how things have gone for them. Just nowhere to go on the ground and struggling to put up points. Smith. And not much doing. He'll get this only up to about the 36. Just a yard on the run there. And that's going to bring us to a fourth down. But they got off the field on third down. Excellent job. An excellent defensive series. We always talk about adjustments and usually only at halftime. But the best teams adjust series to series. And on that series, they adjusted so well that they got the job done in fine style. Looks like the offense is going to take another shot here. They're going on fourth and 13. And now the 49ers signal for a timeout defensively. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. And no move to get the offense off the field. Despite failing once, they're going to go again here on fourth down. They'll indeed go for it with Ryan. It's caught. Jones. 
And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Just his second catch of the game so far. This one moves the chains. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move. First and 10. Now it's Ryan. A battle for it, and it's intercepted. Picked off by the safety, Jarquiski Tart. And his guys will take over at the 25 yard line. The Niners take over first and 10 at their own 25 yard line. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. And coming up on their second drive of the game, had the touchdown last time out. Now they have the football back. Chance to really seize early momentum. Feels to me like they had a really excellent week of practice that it all came together. But I'll bet you it got galvanized in the locker room in pregame. Somehow I think the head coach, his oratorical skills were on point. At the 23, it's second and 12. A shotgun snap for Garoppolo. And looking for Kittle, but it's intercepted. Picked off around the 27. And they will take over at the 26-yard line. Before we came up to the booth, last thing he said as we were walking off the field, want to play mistake-free football. Well, that just went out the window there with a pick. And do you remember what you said to me when we were walking up to the booth after he said that? You're like, oh, fatal last words every time we hear that. Things tend to fall apart a little bit, and that's what we saw there. Didn't get enough on that throw, and it turned into an interception. Trying to get the run game going. Here's Smith. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. Fred Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground, but I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. They go back to the ground with Smith, and they'll get him down right about the 20. It's a gain of three on what will be the final play of this third quarter. I think we put together a job description for a middle linebacker. We would start with being able to hold down things in the middle of the line of scrimmage and be able to take on blockers. But how about the guys who can go sideline to sideline and make plays? We love a guy that can do that. We saw a perfect example of it right there. effort won't be enough as they rally up to stop him a couple of yards short. Just a gain of two there, and it's going to bring up a fourth down. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. Fourth down. Here's Ryan. And he's got daylight. It's a foot race. 30. Past the 20. And they will score. It's a 49er touchdown. Touchdown. That's the story of the game. They've been suffocating all game long on defense. They were suffocating there again in a big way. And they've done it not just by out-athleting them, which is often the case, but by being able to adjust to anything they tried to throw at them and beating them into the punch each and every time. This was a defense that was well prepared. And yeah, they turned the pick six into a pick eight with that two-point conversion. I love how you upset. That is outstanding right there. What a big-time play. Big switch in how this game was going, and then they capitalized a little bit on top. Well, there you go. Just your everyday leading big and you onside kick it with a lead. And they got it. I mean, it worked, but interesting call. I think because they have such a margin, they feel a little bit bolder about what they're doing. And it's not only just to try and increase their lead, but that's their way of saying we're in full control of this game and we can kind of do what we want. The throw right side is complete here on the first play of the drive. And he is brought down, but not before reaching the 30. 23 yards on the play. Play fake from Mostert, now Garoppolo. Still throwing the football here, even with the big lead. Yeah, I know you and I came up with a different era. We think about sportsmanship and all that. Oh, we think about fantasy points and getting their numbers. That's all they care about right now. Ball on the 30 as they come up second and 10. It's just me and you. It's just me and you. It's just me and you. It's 
They fake the give. Now Garoppolo looks to throw. Throw left side complete. That's James. And finally down he goes as they work it inside the 10 to the 7. That one goes for 24 yards. Back of the end zone. Could he get his feet down? No, it's incomplete. That was a touchdown if he could have hung on. Instead, it was a well-timed collision to jar that one free. They'll try again here from the seven on second and goal. And they'll get this on the screen to Mostert. And a minuscule gain of maybe a yard from the six to the five. They get only a yard there. Now it's third and goal from the five, third and goal. And intercepted, maybe the turning point they need. Able to get there and pick it. And they'll have the football, but deep in their own territory as he's brought down at the five. Yard line. About set to begin their next drive. The Falcons offense at the line. And we'll see if they can band back together after the pick six. It hurt badly, but still within striking distance. A two-score game with a good chunk of time on the clock. And they work this out past the 25. A gain of A good pick up there, 21 yards. On first down, Smith. And he's going to be dropped following a pick up of seven past the 30 to the 32. He's tackled at the They don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. Throwing on second and three, Ryan. Flush to his right. Down under two minutes to go in this football game. And that one goes incomplete. He's maybe lucky it wasn't a fumble as he got hit as he threw it. So it's Falcon football as we welcome you back. They face a third down now as they try to find a late score. Left side completion to Jones. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. Ryan to Jones, the Falcon connection there for a first. So two first downs, and that moves the ball to the 42 now, first and 10. Now Ryan. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked off by Juan Williams. And a terrific return as he brings this one all the way back to the 30. Ryan about one last great play defensively, and that should, for all intents and purposes, finish off this shutout. That's as good a defensive performance as we've seen in a long, long time. And I know as a team they will celebrate, but I will guarantee you the defensive guys, they'll get together somewhere and have their own private celebration. A shutout, that's something to be cherished. They'll start out here with a jet sweep. And he stopped right at the 25 after a gain of five. Tackled at the 25-yard line. It's a gain of five. Brings up second. And Garoppolo on the bootleg. Now Garoppolo lost the football. The second down pass. So danger averted for the moment, but now here's a third and long. Garoppolo looks to throw. Brady Jarrett able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. How about this? Fourth and long, and they're going to go for it. Fourth down. Jarrett, and this defense will take over right near midfield at the 49-yard line. About set to begin their next drive, the Falcons' offense at the line. What do you do here down like this in this situation? Do you maybe just pick something out of the playbook you haven't called in a while, or you call it a day? You can do that, or you pick something that's a staple for you and should work better, and try and execute that on the way out the door. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked off by the former first rounder, Jimmy Ward. And he'll take this all the way down inside the 40. 
Ryan's pass intercepted. The Niners take over first and from the 39 now. They'll come up on a first and 10. Garoppolo looking to throw. He'll get this into the hands of Mostert. And one of the whistles for a timeout. So they'll stop the clock here in a game that's been decided in the closing seconds. Garoppolo on first down. And they intercept Garoppolo for the third time. Picked off by A.J. Terrell. And a terrific return as he'll take it up past the 35. By the Falcons. They'll take over first and 10 at their own 37-yard line. About set to begin their next drive. The Falcons offense at the line. This is just an exercise in futility. Do you even bother running a play here offensively? I wouldn't because now is not going to erase what's happened during the game. So after it's over, you're going to go to the film, find out what